Hi crafters, Amy here, and today I have a super quick and easy encouragement card to share. I'm going to be using my mini ink cubes from Concord and Ninth. I have some 110 pound cardstock. I have the Boho Medallion 6x6 stencil from A Colorful Life Designs and my blending brushes. And I'm going to do a really super quick technique with a lot of wow factor. So stick around to the end and I'll show you the finished card. But basically to start here, I'm just using my Wendy Vecchi station tool and using the magnets to hold down the stencil. Uh, you can also use pixie spray, but this is a, a pretty sturdy stencil despite all the little details. So um, it worked fine without the pixie spray on this. But I'm just picking some colors from that... Um, ink selection and kind of starting in the center and starting with the lighter of my two orangish colors. The reason being because I'm going to be using the same blending brush for those two orange colors. So you want to start with the lighter first um, so that you can get truer to the color. And then I come back in with a darker color and blend that in the center of the medallion. And then I have this beautiful sea glass color and I'm just kind of getting some of my residual ink off my brush. And then I come in with the green kind of around the edge of that medallion. I'm careful not to overlap it too much with the orange just because um, they will kind of muddy up the color and I don't really want them to, to overlap. Since they aren't analogous colors or anything like that, they would make kind of a, a dullish brown color if I overlap too much. So I'm kind of just mindful to stay along the edge. And then I decide that I wanted it to look a little bit more teal rather than green. So I'm grabbing this uh, light teal color and kind of coming in with my teal br blending brush and adding that over the green. So it gives it a little bit more of a visual interest and brings in more of the the teal or blue notes that I kind of wanted to add to the design. And then I decided in the center that I wanted to pop it up a little bit as well and bring in a little bit more of a red color. So then I'm grabbing this more pinky, pinky red honeysuckle color and just kind of adding that to the center. So whereas I started off almost just peach into green, I did add more pink and um, cool colors to the center and to the edges. So here's the reveal here. It's just a beautiful soft panel with that gorgeous design. And I'm going to use a stitched edge rectangle die just to kind of bring it down from A2 size a little bit and give it a nice border on the card base. And I am going to attach it to an A2 size card base of 110 pound cardstock from Nina. Now this stencil is from A Colorful Life Designs and I do have um, a coupon code if you decide you want to shop for some stencils. There's a huge selection in the shop. So uh, I will have that linked below in the video description box with all of the products that I used. And I have this 3D embossing folder from Altenew as well. It's called uh, Modern Squares 3D and I ran it through my die cutting machine and look at that amazing dimension. So that really kicks it up a notch. You have the beautiful design of the stencil and then the texture from the embossing folder. And whatever way you look at it, it kind of looks a little bit different. If you look at it from the side, then you see the dimension of the embossing folder. And if you look at it dead on, then you really see the, the beautiful design of the stencil. So this is my um, sentiment book. I do have little pockets. These are baseball protector pockets and I will link that as well below but um, this is how I store some die cuts so I have them ready to go so I just kind of flip through and figure out you know what what kind of card I want this to be so I end up going with a, a beautiful holographic love you die cut and then basically I'm just gonna attach that with some liquid glue and add a little bit of blingage and that finishes my card so it's got the dimension from the embossing folder but it doesn't have a lot of dimension in terms of shipping so it would be really easy to ship with just one postage stamp. So if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Like I said, I will link all the products that I used in the video description box below. So if you follow those, I might get a small commission at no additional cost to you and it helps support my channel. So I really appreciate it. So let me know what you think. Have you given this technique a try? I hope to hear from you in the comments. Thanks again. Check you next time. Bye.